Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on. Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. The summit is just ahead. The leaders should be arriving any moment. Third. Look! It's Lady Laurent! Wonderful! It's Tellinger! Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself! Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by. Getting the leaders to cooperate will be no small task. I hope you're up for it. Good day. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Captain Alfari, has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island, and the wards are in place. And the Alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Security couldn't be hey, tighter. Captain. This should go off Remind without a hitch. High King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Joran Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Bal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. Intractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Bal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Willing and able. But, like the Mages Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound.
This meeting feels like two wolves and a sheep discussing what to have for dinner. I will not sit back and let them pick up my bones. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. All right, then. I'll agree, provided you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen. I don't envy you the task. They're more pig-headed than I am. Your king needs to stop talking out of the side of his mouth. He has a lot of Dominion blood on his hands. We're not going to easily forget that, and we're certainly not going to fight by his side in Cold Harbor. Is there? What did you have in mind? Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. Well, it's certainly not what they'll be expecting. Very well, I'll agree, if you can convince the others. Save your breath. I will not be swayed by Emmerich's lapdog. But what about the war in Cerrito? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Evanhart pact, they do not stand a chance. How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. History will remember the Skull King as the bane of Moloch Ball. I will support your foolish plan. Now get out of my sight! Save your breath. I will not... Bah! I don't trust your leader. And I don't trust you. Any luck, or are they still at an impasse? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. With very good reason, but the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. I have an ill feeling about this. He, he has arrived. I can't. Kaldian, what's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place so I can crush them like insects. Lord on fall! Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How ah. amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. They send to kill me. Truly?
Moloch Ball. My gods, all dead. Damn, that more. We were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Yes, at the Aeliad Well at the center of the island. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor! Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanos is right. The Guilds are our best and only choice. We'll send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emery. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured Molag by the Molag Ball thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Sturk interior. The champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, champion. Let's go! Stendhal, protect us all! We're as ready as we shall ever be. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Ball knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. then, have you? Johnny good! Johnny good! Rotten luck! They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. 
Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties about. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me, but I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to... Welcome to the beautiful...